Hi friends, welcome to Taming Python series. In this video, we are going to talk about how to render custom error pages in a Python Flask application. Why do you require a custom error page in a Flask application? There can be multiple reasons. One of the reasons can be customized styling. That means you want to style your error pages also instead of default error pages. Or else you want to provide additional information in your error pages like in this example, I am giving the link to the home page also in the error page which will not be rendered in the default error page. Alright, let's get started with coding. I'm going to take a blank folder and I'm going to open it with PS code. I'm going to create a new file. I'll just name it server.py. I'll just create a sample Python server now. Alright, this is a very simple Flask server. I'm just importing the Flask class from the Flask module and I'm creating an instance of a Flask application. And I'm running the application at the local host port 5000 and I'm enabling debug mode equal to 2 in order to debug my errors easily. And I'm creating a route where at the root URL, you are going to render a template called home.html. I am rendering the template using the render template function imported from the Flask module. Alright, we do not have the home.html. So let's try to create that now. I'll just create a new folder. I'll just name it templates. And in the templates folder, I'll create a new file and name it home.html. And now this home.html will be rendered in our root URL. Alright, this is a very simple HTML inside a home.html file. I'm just rendering hello world. So when I run this server.py, I should be served the home.html. But hey, I want to make my website in a dark theme. So I want to add additional style to this home.html. So let me try to create a CSS file. I'll just create a new folder now. I'll name it static because I have to serve my CSS as a static file, right? Inside the static, I'll just create a new folder. I'll just name it styles. And inside the styles folder, I'll create a new file called theme.css. So this is my CSS file. It's just really simple. I'm just making the color as white and background color as black so that it simulates a dark theme. I'm also changing the color of links so that it looks better in a dark theme. So now I have to link this theme.css in my home.html, right? So for that, I'm going to use the link tag. In the href, I'm going to write URL for and render the dynamic URL of the theme. So URL for static and the path is given by file name equal to the file name is under the styles theme.css. So I'm, I'm going to write styles slash theme.css and that's it. Now I have linked my custom CSS to simulate a dark theme and I've got my home.html file rendered. So when I go to the root URL, I have to get the home.html file rendered to the output. So let me to save all of this and run the server. Now my server is running at localhost 5000. I'm going to open a new tab and go to localhost 5000. And here you can see I got my hero world and my dark theme also enabled here. All right, we got our server set up ready. Let's try to simulate a page not found error. So for that, I'm going to go to some random route and you can see I've got the not found error page. You know, I did not create this error page. Flask by default is serving this error page. So that's why I'm not able to control the styling of this page and I'm not able to add some extra information in this page. And this problem is what we are going to solve now. So how can I add custom error page? You can add a custom error page using the app.registerErrorHandler method or you can add a decorator called app.errorHandler and give the code of the error and then you can handle the errors. So let's try to do that now. First, let's try to use the decorator method to handle errors. So I'm going to write app dot error handler and here i'm going to give the code as 404 because 404 is not found and i'm going to create a method the name will be handle exception or handle error and it's going to take an input of an error object which is a http error object and this object will have three properties which is a name description and the error code and now i can return a template return render template and you can return any template something like home.html and you have to return the error code which is error dot code and here you can you can also write 404 because we are handling only for the 404 error but if you're handling multiple errors like if i just copy paste this decorator again and write something like 500 so this error handler can handle multiple error codes like this it can handle 404 error or 500 error which is an internal server error then i can't write 404 here so i'll write error dot code but here I can't render home.html, right? I have to render some page which has some message shown for the errors. So let's try to create a template here. I'm just going to create a new file called message.html and I'll paste the content same as the home here and I'll modify it now. So instead of the title of the page to be home, I'm going to pass in a variable to this template called title, 
which I have to provide in the render template function. We'll do that later on. And here instead of hello world, I'm going to give the title and you know, error code also has a description. So I'm going to pass it as a variable called message. So, all right, my page is ready. Now I have to pass two variables to my page, which is title and message. And the page is message.html. So let's go ahead to the server.py and instead of rendering home.html, I'm going to render the message.html file now. And remember, I need to pass two variables, which is the title and the message to render. So I'm going to pass those variables here now. One variable is title and title can be obtained from the error dot name and the message variable can be assigned a value called error dot description. You know, these values are available because when you handle an error handler, you will be given an error object and this is a HTTP exception object and this object has these attributes called name, description and code. Code will have an error code, name will have a very compact description of the error and description will give a detailed description of the error. So let's try to save this now and let's try to go to our page and reload again. Now you can see I have successfully rendered a custom error page. You can see the title is rendered here, not found and the message of the error is rendered here. And now suppose if I want to give the link of my home page, I can even do that because this page is completely under our control. So go to the message.html file. I'm going to create a new paragraph and inside the new paragraph, I'm going to give an anchor tag and the reference will be URL for the home page url underscore fur and here inside the url for i have to do the function name of the home page which is the index so i'm going to write the url for index and the text inside the link would be click here to go to the home page and that's it now i have created a link to go to the home page inside my error page so let me try to save this and let me try to reload the page again in the browser and now you can see click here to go to home page and if i click here i'm going to the home page so this is the additional functionality which I have added to my error page which is not possible if you don't create a custom error page. Alright, till now I have discussed how to create custom error pages using the error handler decorator. There is one more way you can do that using the app.registerErrorHandler. So you have to write the code of the error like suppose if I want to handle 404 code and here I am going to use the function of the error handler. So I can remove this decorator now and just give the function handle error here, control C control B. So now here I am telling that register this error handler for this error code and the same thing you can do for 500 error also and some one more error like 501 or else you can do a for loop also like for error code in and for each error code you can register an error handler and instead of writing the code explicitly write error code here. And that's it for multiple error codes you are registering the same error handler let's try to save this and let's try to see whether it works or not so let me try to go to the home page first and go to some random url and it still works because i have registered the error handler for the 404 error code all right that's how you can use register error handler method to create custom error pages for specific error codes all right till now we have discussed how to create custom error pages for specific error codes but what if I don't want to mention an error code, but I need to have a default error handler, which is going to handle all the HTTP error codes. So how can I do that instead of specifically mentioning the error codes? That's really simple. Just write app dot error handler. And here, instead of giving an error code, you can give exception also. So I'm going to write HTTP exception. And this class will be imported from workzip dot exception model. So I'm going to write from dot exceptions import http exception so here i am telling that for any http exception this will be the error handler so let me try to remove this because i am handling all errors using this error handler method and giving the http exception instead of the error code explicitly so now let me try to save my server and i am gonna go to the home page and let me go to some random url and now still the error page is getting rendered without specifically mention the error code so for any error code, you are able to handle the error. All right, we have completed how to render custom error pages. But till now, I am only able to simulate the not found page because it's easy to simulate, right? But what if I want to simulate the internal server error, which is the 500 error code? So how can I do that? From Flask, you can import a function called abort. And what this abort does is that it will create a HTTP exception. So let me try to create a root now. I'm going to copy this root at the home page and paste it here and I'm going to create a new function called simulate 500 
and the root will also be a same thing simulate 500 so instead of rendering a template i'm going to write abort and i'm going to simulate a error or throw a http exception of error code 500 so what's happening here is that if i go to the url localhost 1500 slash simulate 500 this route will create a http exception and then we can test whether 500 error code is being handled by this error handler or not so let me try to save this and i'm going to go to my server localhost 1500 and here i'm going to write simulate 500 still i got non phone because i think i have spelled it wrong because yeah simulate 500 so if i write simulate 500 now i got the internal server error because it's a server error 500 error code right so this way using the about function you can throw custom http exceptions in my case I, I was able to throw 500 so if i want to simulate uh, 501 so i'll write simulate 501 and i'm going to create a function called simulate 501 and about 501 save it and let me go to the root simulate 501 and then go enter so this is a not implemented http exception so this way i was able to simulate http exceptions and check that a single function is able to intercept all the http exceptions and give my custom http error page now that all my error pages are customized what if i want to customize error page for only a single error code suppose for 501 error i don't want to show this text i want to show some other text so how can i do that since now you have an error handler which can intercept all the errors you can create a new error handler which will intercept your custom error code so instead of http exception i'm going to write 500 and in the message.html you can even render other HTMLs also but currently i am rendering only message.html instead of title of error.name i can use something like server error and instead of giving the standard description i can use some description like oops some error occurred we have created a default error handler that can render custom error pages for all error codes but we have specified a custom error handler for only intercepting the find error codes and we are handling it differently by giving different title and message. So let me try to save this server and let me try to go to the home page and write simulate 50500. Okay, we did not write 500 here, it was 501. So let's try to write 50500. And let's create an error for 500. And now go to simulate 500. And now you can see I've got my custom title and custom message because I have intercepted 500 error codes separately. So this way, you can have a default error handler to render default custom error page and you can have a specific error handler to handle specific error pages maybe i want to handle 500 and 501 at once using this custom error handling code so that's it guys it's really simple to create custom error pages in flask it's just like three lines of code where you render a custom error page for any http exceptions and if you want to have a overwritten exception page for custom exceptions then create just another function which can handle each exception specifically you can also use the about function from flash to throw http exceptions and test whether your customized error pages are coming correctly or not so that's it guys you can see i have created a blog post on creating custom error pages in python flask application i have also given you the source code template files styles etc so that you can copy paste this code and practice it in your own computer i have also given references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading so please check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please leave your valuable feedback or ask any doubts in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.